What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be painting the bone color. So the pattern itself for the bait's really simple. The main focus of this video is going to be mixing the colors to get the bone color. Now there's a million different variations of bone color all the way from yellow to like almost white. With that being said, uh, last video I messed up the giveaway announcement. So I'll put the giveaway to the last video right here, which was actually for the video before. So I apologize about that. For this video, all you have to do to enter to win is let me know what colors you mix together to get your bone color and or if there's a premix color that I should know about. The blank that we're using today is a four inch chugging spook from Barlow's Tackle. I'll have those linked in the description below if you want to get some for yourself. The giveaway is going to be the bait I painted today along with the rest of the blanks I have which is four of them. So you get four blanks, the bait I painted today, and I'll try to throw in some other stencils or something to make it more exciting. So let's not waste any more time and we'll jump into painting this bait. We're going to kick things off by doing a base coat of white. That way our blank is not see-through. Base coat of white is done. What I'm going to do is take a little cup like this guy and we're going to mix all the colors up in it. Whenever you go to mix your bone color, I recommend getting some containers like this from the craft store that you can keep the paint in and it'll keep it good longer. Uh, demonstration purposes, we're doing it in the cup so you guys can see all the colors mixing together. Now this one, I want it to be kind of like a sparkly or iridescent color to it. So we're going to be using, I'll, I'll lay out all my colors here, a metallic white, some iridescent yellow. I got some transparent sand. Doesn't have to be transparent, it's just the color I got. Uh, we might throw some pearl satin gold in there I don't know for sure. We'll kind of see where we're at. And then sometimes I also like to throw a little bit of gray. And I don't have any airbrush paint that's in gray. I could mix some black and white, but for the little amount that I might be putting in there, the normal acrylic paint will work just fine for that. I'm going to start off by putting a pretty good amount of white in the cup. And then we're going to add just a couple of drops. Whenever you're mixing these colors, you want to be very, very light with how much you're adding. A little bit of paint goes a long ways. So I'm just going to do three drops of yellow. And again, it's going to change on to how much white you're adding. So if you're doing a whole mixture of it, uh, you'll want a lot more than that. Uh, the transparent sand, we're just going to do one drop of that for now. We'll see where that gets us. And then I'm going to hold off on the pearl satin gold. And I've got the end of a Q-tip here that we're going to mix this up, see where we're at and how much we need to add, or see if we need to add any other colors to it. So we are very yellowy at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of the sand. I think we can get away with two more drops, two drops of the sand. And then I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of that gray. Instead of doing a full drop, I'm just going to grab a clean Q-tip here. And then we're just going to scoop a little bit out. Add it in there, and that'll kind of help cool it down a little bit. So just a little bitty drop of the gray. A little bit goes a long way, especially when you're mixing dark colors with light colors. better mixture this q-tip ain't really cutting it I think we can go I don't know if you can see the color on the paper towel there I think we need to add a little bit more white that's really really brown which some people might like that color I want mine to be a little bit lighter so we're gonna add a little bit more of the metallic white by a little bit I mean a pretty generous amount. I gotta get a different stir stick. Okay, better stir stick part of a little piece of wood here. All right, let's see how that looks compared to the other brown, which is this one right here. That's still pretty brown. Actually, it doesn't look a whole lot different. Well, let's go heavy with the white. OK, 
Okay. I hope I don't mess it up here, but I think we can go... There you go, getting a little bit lighter. One, <laughs> one splash of yellow, and I think we'll be there. It's also kind of hard to tell whenever it's in the mixing cup versus when you're actually spraying it on a bait. On there. A lot lighter and a little more yellow. So I'm going to call it good there. And we're going to load this up in the airbrush and give this bait a couple coats of it and see where we're at. There's with two coats on there. Now, the bone color is kind of hard because the bait doesn't look a whole lot different to me at the moment. It's kind of, the bone color messes with my eyes, but when you hold it up next to an actual white, so the white on that other bait, I think we're pretty spot on with a good middle of the road bone color. It's not white bone, it's not brown bone, it's not yellow bone. So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. I might go ahead and do just one more coat of uh, the paint on there just to make sure we got everything covered. But there's a difference between white on the belly of that bait and our bone color we got here. And since it is iridescent, it kind of changes colors a little bit as it's moving in the light. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that color. The rest of the pattern is stupid easy. Uh, we're just going to load up some transparent black in the brush. We're gonna go for a shad dot and do a little bit around the eyes. Shad dot, I'm gonna go just behind the eyelet and then as close to dead center as I can on the side profile of the bait. Same thing on this side, just behind the eyelet and center of the base. Close enough for me. I'm going to spray center of the eye socket, that way it'll kind of darken up just a little bit uh, where the eyes are going to be. Whoops. My finger slipped, so now it's a little bit darker there. So that's more what I was looking for. Not coming down the cheek like that, but I know you guys don't care. Right? You don't care if I mess up. Last thing I'm gonna do is grab some red. I'm gonna do just some opaque red. And we're gonna hand paint the gills just a little bit. <laughs> Level one, very fine point paintbrush. And we're gonna do our best not to screw up this bait. Pretty stoked with how that looks. Nope. Okay. There we have it. One iridescent bone color, four inch chugging spook. I'm gonna hair dry it real quick so if I accidentally touch anything, I don't mess up our beautiful paint job. And then we'll glue in some eyes. Eyes we're going with have some silver, red, and black, so it kind of matches our paint scheme. Yeah, and you can see I had a little bit of water still in my airbrush, or I was holding it there a little bit too long, got those little streaks blown out, but that just means it's custom, right? I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Uh, 
kind of wish I had a whole tube full of that paint. So I might have to mix up some more if you guys want to enter to win this giveaway for the one I painted today, along with four blanks, and I'll throw some of my stencils in there too so it's more exciting. Comment below what colors you mix or if you mix extra colors or different colors than what I did today. And make sure you're subscribed and you will be entered to win. Upcoming videos is going to be based off of stuff that you guys had recommended, which was topwater baits and then you wanted to see me building some of my own. And of course, there'll be crankbaits and other stuff thrown in there along with it. But I'm getting a big order put together for topwater blanks. And then I think we're also going to kind of dabble in some spinner baits and chatter baits and potentially soft plastics. You guys let me know if you want to see me learn how to do soft plastics. I'm going to put some clear coat on this. We will come back and take a look at what she looks like all finished up. 